Yeah, I just also want to let you know that we've got a new member of staff. Any issues, any problems? They came to the UK with a promise of a better future. Instead, these women were exploited and forced into modern-day slavery. They're now living under the protection of housing charity Hestia. There's six young women living at this safe house at the moment. They were all trafficked into the UK and kept as slaves. Many of them forced into prostitution, others exploited by labour gangs. They've all managed to escape and are now trying to rebuild their lives. This victim was trafficked and forced into prostitution by her own mum when she was just 16. I was a child. I thought I'm doing good for my mum. And I used to cry that I don't want to do these things. And my own mum did this to me. When the man used to come, she used to be in the same building with, with me. So she would hear everything what I would do. So how, how there could she be just stay there and not do nothing, just watching me? Did your mum know what was going to happen to you when you came to the UK? I guess in my mind maybe she, would, she knew from the beginning what's happening, but maybe she never told me. This TV advert, along with a new trafficking helpline, is part of the government's first nationwide campaign to highlight modern slavery in the UK. The message is simple. It could be happening right under your nose. In 2010, around 700 victims of trafficking were identified. That figure rose to over 1,700 last year. But many cases remain hidden. In order for us to be able to find those slaves, we need the public to tell us what's going on. That will help us to gather the intelligence, that will help us to rescue the victims, and that intelligence will go towards the evidence we need to bring the prosecutions. But some campaigners say educating the public about this isn't enough. If victims come forward, if they then identify their traffickers, their slave masters, then we've got to get the police to prosecute and the judges to convict. But you need the resources to actually look after victims. Otherwise, you won't get the convictions. The campaign comes ahead of the government's modern slavery bill. But unless victims are identified and empowered to speak out, there's a fear their perpetrators will continue to go unpunished. Divya Talwa, BBC News.